Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to work on number 112 on the FTC General Knowledge Practice Test. This is a great problem to review some core concepts in geometry. Let's take a closer look. Given the following right triangle and dimensions, line AB equals the square root of 9 inches, and line AC equals the square root of uh, 25 inches, which of the following is true? Gives us a diagram gives us three, uh, four statements. One, statement one, the size of line BC is four inches. Two, angle BCA plus angle BAC is equal to angle ABC. Statement three, angle ACB minus angle CAB equals angle B, I'm sorry, CBA. And then um, number four, angle BCA plus angle ABC are supplementary angles. Two of these statements are true, two of them are false. Well, there's a lot of math here. Let's start with the basics. Right triangle. Right triangle means there's a right angle. And Whenever you have right, ang right triangles, you should always be thinking about the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem says you take the two smaller legs of your triangle a, and you square them um, and then you add those two sides together so a squared plus b squared it's going to equal the square of the third side or we call the hypotenuse so whenever you see right triangle think Pythagorean theorem um, you should also you there's also the word triangle in there and that indicates you know all triangles because I see angles involved in here. The sum of all the ang interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. That's another math fact that you might want to make sure you know. I see dimensions. So we could add on these dimensions. The square root of 9 for um, AB is 3. Square root of 25 is uh, 5. I could use the Pythagorean theorem to find out this missing side. You know, it's possible. BC, I could, use the, I could definitely use that. Um, I have square, you, there are square roots here. So that's another idea. That's a whole other idea on its own. You should know your square roots. You should know the square root of uh, 4, the square root of 9, the square root of 16, the square root of 25. And you should actually know your square roots. I think knowing, um, using all your perfect squares all the way down to the square root of 400. And I am not joking. We're not going to do that at this video, but uh, you should definitely know what square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 9 is 3, the square root of 16 is 4, the square root of 25 is 5, all the way down to the square root of 400 is 20. I am not joking, team. You really need to know some of that core math. Okay, so all this is going on. How can we, where should we begin? Well, let's begin with the first one. All right. I have this as three. I know this is five. It says the uh, size of line BC is four. Is that true? Well, I could use the Pythagorean theorem to check if that's true. All I need to do is do three squared plus four squared. That's, this could be my A. This could be my B. This would be my C. Does that equal 5 squared? If it's true, then, um, then in fact this is a right triangle and that missing side is 4. Well, I got 9 plus 16 equals 25 and the sum of these does equal 25. So in fact this missing side has to be 4 in order for a squared plus b squared to equal c squared in, in order for this to be actually a, a, 90, a right triangle. So this is true. Well, what about, what about statement two? Now, how do I read this angle? Because remember how I was reading it and it just got so convoluted? Just think of this as angle C and this is angle A. So angle C and angle A, do they equal angle B? Remember, angle B is a right, right angle, so it's equal to 90. And we also said when you add up all the angles in this triangle, they add up to 180. So if this is the case, then doesn't it make sense that A and C have to add up to 90 also? 
because when you add up a and c, they've got to add up to they've got to equal a number that when you add a 90 to it equal 180. So the answer this is true. When you add up um, both these angles, they're going to equal 90 degrees, and that's going to e be equal to angle B here, which is also 90. So statement two is true. All right, let's clear off uh, some of my writing here. Both statements one and two are correct, so our answer is A. Um, just to con just to make sure uh, you didn't choose these, I want to make sure I go over them real quick. Um, angle C and angle A here, when you subtract C from A, you, there's no way you're going to get B. By the way, remember, this the way this is written is actually, the, these refer to the same angle. They just reversed the, uh, the A and the C, but they're actually referring to our 90 degree angle. So if we said this was hypothetically 30 and this was 60, would it make sense if I did uh, angle C minus, you know, ang angle C? I could say angle C minus angle um, A, does that get me to, to angle B? And the answer is no, it doesn't, because 30 minus 40 doesn't equal 90. Cross that one off. What about this last one? This last one is yet another idea in this problem. And it's asking you if these two angles here are supplementary angles. Well, these two angles, um, they, uh, supplementary angles, let's start here. Supplementary angles are two angles that add up and form a straight line or add up to 180 degrees. So supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. The A and C actually form something else. When you add up A and C, you actually get a 90 degree angle. Because remember we said this is 90 and the sum of A and C also has to be 90. So, um, and we call these angles two angles that add up to uh, 90 degrees. We call these complementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So let me write that down. Complementary angles, it's like um, A plus B equals 90 degrees. If a student got a 90 on the test, you'd give them a compliment. So remember, complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. In this problem here, these two, the, uh, the two smaller angles of a right triangle only add up to 90 degrees. We consider them complementary angles. Wow, a lot of math in um, a problem. Very easy to make a mistake on um, and get kind of lost in some of the core concepts. So go back. Review the core concepts individually on right triangles, the Pythagorean theorem, um, square roots, supplementary and complementary angles. Make sure you know those and then go back and solve this problem again. Okay team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. I hope you found this video helpful. Have a great day. Take care. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the GoMath workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful. Mm -hmm.